So guys, uh, setting up this morning, uh, see how we go. Only pick two trades at the moment because uh, the, the currency strength hasn't shown its hand as much. But I'm going to be going off to the hospital shortly. So I'm going to document what I do through the day as well on here. And uh, let's just see if we can catch catch some pips today. At the moment, there's two, two pairs going. We're on eight pips. A profit on the GBP or I can, I can see and it's fluctuating there between uh, overall on the CAD and the odd of two pips of profit down here we've got an exit manager on once we get the 10 pips of profit it's going to take a partial so that 0 0.25 becomes down to 0 0.15 at the moment we're now heading into bits of profit let's see where we go just by uh, having these two at the moment okay uh, and i will be back with you guys once i get back from the so here i am at the hospital ready to get me bloods a dear normally in and out within 15 15 to 20 minutes that's all it takes i'll be back home to do some trading it's so now we're back home just about to go and check the charts see if we've getting any profits from this morning that's where i live that's the park I walk around on a day-to-day -day basis, doing my videos for everybody. Yeah. I'll see you at the screen. So we're back at the screen, guys. As you can see, have your bloods done, all's well. Uh, just for the purposes of Facebook, let's have a look. We started this one with around about £50 over the 50k limit. We're about £32 in profit at the moment. Uh, the one that is running is the GBP USD. The dust on the screen needs cleaning. And uh, this is just some other secret sauce I use when I'm factoring in the trading for the currency strength. At the moment, let's just take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, it's not that one. No, sorry, I do apologise. Let's look. Uh, equity. It is GBP USD. It is in profit. Sorry. Uh, right. I'm going to close that out. Actually, let's close it out. Close that out in profit. So at the moment, we're about eighty-five pound in profit so far. Uh, we start, like I say, I started the day off at fifty thousand and fifty pounds. If you want to see that from the start of this morning, you just need to uh, go and watch my my live my live on my my YouTube channel. Okay, so I'll be doing some more video on this a little bit later to add what I do for my day to day routine. Just sitting there having a chill in the gaming chair next to the computer with a cup of tea. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, you can get that, including the mess underneath. <laughs> so that's my workstation i'm just relaxing got the blinds closed because it's even though it's cooled up here in the northeast of england it's it's, it's uh still bright the winter sun's out so just having a what time is it now it's what 20 to 11 having a bit of a chill out a little bit of a th think uh, let's have a look oh the stress so i've got a book here and I highly recommend this. It's called The Mental Game of Trading. So it's uh, very in-depth with everything. It uh, gets you to think about the most costly and reoccurring trading mistakes. And I'm just reading this off the back. The chances are that they're, mo they're related more common errors, such as chasing the price, cutting winners short, forcing mediocre trades, and over-trading. Okay? So you're likely to you're likely try to fix these errors by improving your technical skills and yet they persist that's because the real source of these mistakes is not technical okay they actually stem from a form of greed fear anger or other problems uh with confidence and discipline okay 
fantastic book. This is a step-by-step -step guide system for mastering the trading psychology. So if you're like most traders, you probably overlook or misunderstand the mental and emotional obstacles. Or worse, you might think you know how to manage them, but you don't. And end up losing control of the worst possible time. You're leaving too much money on the table, which either prevent you from being profitable or realizing your true potential. <clears throat> While many trading psychology books offer sound advice, they don't show you how to, ne how to do the necessary work. <clears throat> That's why you haven't solved the problems hurting your performance. With straight talk, practical solutions, the, the author Jared Tendler uh, brings uh, a new voice to the trading psychology in, in the book that is The Mental Game of Trading. He busts myths about emotions, agreed and discipline and shows you how to look past the obvious to identify the real reasons you're struggling, okay? So this book is, is different from anything else on the market. You'll get a step-by-step -step system for discovering the cause of your problems and, el uh, and eliminating them once and for all. And through real stories of traders from around the world who have successfully used Tendler's system, you'll learn how to tackle your problems, improve your day-to-day -day performance, increase your profits. Whether you're an independent or institutional trader, and regardless whether you trade e uh, equities, forex, cryptocurrencies, you can use this system to improve your decision-making, execution, and finally have a way to reach your potential as a trader. So it says in here, now it's time to make it happen. This book is fantastic, okay? Simply because it talks about the emotions and it talks about what can sort of trip you up. But at the same time, it goes into uh, different things where it'll give you exercises to, to sort of look through, document, and uh, see what the outcome is on each of those exercises. It's a great book. Big book, but it cost me around about, I do believe in great British pounds. It was around about £20 or something on, on uh, Amazon. But it's one of the best books I've bought for uh, things on psychology of trading. It doesn't just talk about it. It gets you to work through different situations and document things. And then it, it, it actually breaks down the outcome on uh, how things have affected you and how you can improve on them. So you need to go look for that book there, The Mental Game of Trading, okay? And it's by Jared Tendler. I don't know if that's back to front on the screen, but uh, like the writing it is for a while I'm doing the video, I don't think it will be when the video comes out, but it is one or if not the best book that I've gotten, okay? And I'll only ever sort of give a good recommendation if it has changed anything on my journey, okay? So... Going to finish off the cup of tea out of the Forex Fire Mug. Uh, have a look, couple of more look on some more charts and things. Have a look at the currency strength. And in fact, I might go for a little walk after this just to blow the cobwebs out of the, the old chest there. So I'll see you all in a bit. Hi, guys. So came off for a bit of a walk. That's where I live over there. And this is the little park I like to have a little walk around because I can't I can't move too far to be fair simply because I do suffer from the arthritis and that's why I go for my bloods every two weeks so yeah that's a bit more bit more of what I'm about so uh, I got diagnosed with that uh, sometime last year but I've been struggling with movements for a while to be fair so I'm on Lots of medication, I'm like a walking chemist, but at the same time, I've got to keep my movements going, so hence why I've got the perfect walk around, walk around the, it's around about a 400 meter round thing around the field, and around the park anyway, helps the old joints get moving anyway. So, yeah, the trading side of things, <clears throat> we, we spoke last week about currency strength and things like that, so, me being me, I like to put myself out there and put my knowledge, and I wouldn't say expertise, but uh, the knowledge that I've gained, because you always learn each and every day. And uh, 
sort of trade this currency strength stuff with a free tool that's obviously in the free group there's nothing to pay for inside the group on on those tools uh, and i like to do daily content and put myself out there and like i see this morning right i started a video off this morning before i went to the hospital looked at the currency strength it wasn't sort of showing anything other than just before i went I went out uh there was a good british pound pound pairs there was a couple of them uh so i picked three pairs put them on the chart looked at the adx and put on uh the trade trade management system so when obviously certain things that happened it would sort of bank things so it's a stress-free stress-free yeah we have trading to be fair as long as you're looking at your risk and looking at the percentage that you're willing to not so much lose but putting the percentage on your trade so you're like taking it as a paid lesson if that makes sense if it loses however once these go into profit we are then having the trade management system then takes after or looks after your trade so from there guys what happens is it'll bank pips if that makes sense and pips a profit uh when i came back uh you've seen just on on the earlier uh video that i've put before this we we have banked some nice little bits of profit the day and again it's all about forward testing failing forward if we fail it's a lesson it's not failing it's a lesson learned we change the parameters and the dynamics of how we approach in this and we move forward and we just eliminate it's a process of elimination okay so the, the video on this today is just to show you what i do on a day-to-day -day basis uh, again i'm out i'm out in the nice fresh air getting getting a breather moving the old joints uh, i'll be heading back in shortly because uh, I've got nothing trading at the moment. I've bagged the profits that I wanted from this morning. I'm gonna have a, a sandwich, bag of crisps, maybe a cup of tea, catch up with the news, and then I'll go back on the charts for the New York session, check the currency strength of anything showing its hands, pick the two or three pairs that I need to pick, and then from there, set the trades, set the risk I'm willing, willing to use on each of those trades, and let the trade, the trade manager, do what it needs to do and that's that's it it's as easy as that uh again for anybody that that watches the stuff that i put out there and i know there's a hell of a lot of people that watches my stuff on a day-to-day -day basis just to give you a little bit of feed we're well, not so much feedback a little bit about how i came about this i started trading over five years ago and was in a full-time job uh learn from another platform which it is a good platform as long as you stay disciplined in what you're learning from those platforms uh and not sort of get caught up with the shiny shiny objects you know because a lot of people get caught up with that and then stay disciplined and focus on that one thing that one thing helped me attain my level of consistency and over time i've been able to sort of give back to those around me and sort of put myself out there whether it's try things with funded challenges or try new techniques or try to understand certain strategies and be able to put uh my sort of outlook on it uh which i love doing uh, and, and i'm forever grateful for everybody that watches my content and uh yeah it's it all stemmed from there and eventually the my confidence my consistency paid off because now i do it from home uh, and not only do i trade from home i obviously create the content that goes alongside it as well to try and help those along that so you see a lot of these other groups out there that's here they have free groups but the tools you have to pay for which again nothing wrong but if you're at a level where you're not that confident and you don't want to be paying for these groups come in join what we're doing everything's free the tools are free access is free uh the group's free you come in we you can come and see what we do on a day-to-day -day basis and then you can learn together with us okay we are the only one and true only place where we learn together we trade together and we win together that concept was taken up taken from from me from the earth from another group i was with nothing wrong with those guys 
fantastic bunch and they still use that ethos to this day but again guys stop yourself being stressed with the needing to chase the money to be profitable come and see what we do and you can uh, get access to it okay and i'll even jump on one-on-ones with you for now i'm just heading back in because i'm now out of breath i'm gonna go and have a quick cup of sandwich and maybe a bag of crisps catch up on the news and we'll do a close out on what i've been doing throughout the day on this when the trading day is finished okay so this is just now look on what i do each day and yep there's a dog you can hear the dog uh the the, the stuff that i do on a trading on, on a day-to-day -day basis but not only that so you're just getting an outlook on what i do and how stress-free things can be so i'll see you in the next portion of the video guys i'll see you in a bit if you want to know who's making the noise meet nelly nelly is my little miniature yorkshire terrier uh she's about five year old now soft as muck and she's in desperate need of a haircut aren't you nelly Nah, she's too enthralled in a biscuit. So, I'm going to go back, have a bite read, guys. I'm going to check on the charts and check on the news. I'll see you in a minute. Right, guys, so we're back at the charts. So, okay, you can see on here, still haven't dusted my screen down. Uh, we've, we're factoring in the EADR, so we've got the EADR high and low. This is what uh, the, the price will normally move between, to be fair. Uh, I'm now getting into another trade. Uh, we've used the, the trade manager. It's banked where, let's just take a look. Let's go down to here, hit trade. You can see on here, we have been trading uh, at uh, 0.25s, okay? You can see there, 0.25. We're in 13 pips of profit at the moment. When we get to 10 pips, it knocks a 0 0.10 off there. So you can see that's now done that successfully. We're now 14 pips of profit. We've got a trail and stop loss of 15 pips. Uh, we went from 50 pound of profit this morning up to 90. It's bagging those nicely. And then from there, we are now profit to loss floating at this time to 102, okay? So the more that that moves, okay? The more that that moves, the more this profit loss here is going to move as well. So at the moment, it's tell me if it comes back, I'm going to bag another 67 great British pennies of profit on top of the five pound odd that we've already banked. But as long as that keeps moving up, then it's going to keep moving the stop loss to bag more profit. You can now say here, it's now tell me if it comes back and hits that out because that's moved. It's now telling me it's went from 60 odd pound of profit, uh, 60 odd great British pennies of profit. It's now tell me if it hits that stop loss. It's now give me a £3.62 of profit, okay? So again, this will keep moving as that keeps moving. So let's have a look now. Now it's telling me I'm going to have £5.55 of profit if it comes and hits the stop loss. This, guys, is a fantastic system, fantastic way. Let's see if it's still moving. £6.07 of profit. Again, guys, can't make this stuff up. If you want to come in, you can either do one or two things. Go to the, the forexfiremembers.com, go to the chat. You'll get on there. You'll be able to chat with me one-on-one -on -one straight away. It'll come through to my mobile. Uh, we're heading in nice profits with this at 26 pips. Uh, we're now standing at £12.62 uh, of extra banked profit if that comes back and hits a stop loss. I don't need to worry at all on my trading on this simply because it's tra it's managing the trades for me and it's just finding that fine line and that, that balance, okay? So from within, what, two minutes of this segment of video, it's went from banking those pips of 67 pence to now, let's see where we are before I close this a little bit off. If it comes back and hits us out, nearly £15 of profit. And again, guys, I don't need to do a thing. I just keep it going, keep it rolling. And as long as them numbers keep going up, 
there's a chance if it goes up to here and hits the take profit, it's 100 and odd quid. But the more that that keeps going up towards those levels, then it's going to bank the levels on here, okay? So at the moment, before we close it out, we're looking at, where are we at? 15 quid, okay? I'm happy with that. Uh, again, if you're enjoying the content, please drop a comment below. Let me know if you want to get inside on this, and I'll show you how I trade this on a day-to-day -day basis. There's no stress at all with it. There's no cost for a membership. There's no cost for the tools. It's all free. No cost for to get access to the group. And again, we do learn together, we trade together, and we win together, guys. It's it's absolutely fantastic, okay? Uh, at the moment, this trade is sitting in 20 odd quid of profit. But even if that come back and hit the stop loss to give me uh, a 15 quid profit, I wouldn't be bothered. That's that's good. That's good profit to bank to be banked on top of that, okay, guys? So I'll see you in a bit. Because we're just doing this video today is just showing you what I do on a day to day basis and putting it out there. It's easy and I love it. So, unfortunately, guys, uh, the trade that I've got set at the moment got a little bit greedy. So, it's coffee time. Got a little bit greedy. I've set a trade away. I'm not too worried because it's all the structure, but if it comes back and it hits our SL, it's going to eat right into the profits that we've made today. But again, we're, we're moving forward and we're progressing by feeling forward if that makes sense if we feel we've learned a lesson we learned to cut out those mistakes but for now let's take a look for now we're just gonna get the cafeteria on make the coffee have a reset and uh yeah time to have a reset we'll go and have a little look in the garden see what the dogs up to Fresh, still a bit cool to be fair. Uh. <laughs> right, so I'm going to head back in. So I'm a little bit cool, I'll leave the dog in the yard. Right, let's have a look. So yeah, it's again, this has all been a learn it's a learning process. Uh, it's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the currency strength stuff is uh, stuff that we've had in the Discord group for a long time now. Well, around about a year or so, to be honest. Uh, great trading friend, great trading buddy of mine. Andy Boland is the guy who put it in there. He has massive results with it. As you see, I've got no doubt he's going to hit 1,000 pips today, to be fair. But for my aspect, what I'm trying to do is, I understand that some people can't be at the charts all day, but if I can try and find a way to alleviate the stress of trying to do that and sort of use a trade manager so at least you can be at the charts for a couple of hours of the day and use that currency strength meter and then being able to identify which ones are weak which are strong look at the EADR sort of stuff to see if there's any movement from what it would normally do on an average daily range and then use that safety net method uh with the, the movement of pips uh however like i say going on the video i've done today okay and, and the book okay uh one of the the factors that's going to make you struggle is the emotions on, on trading. And the, that is certainly not so much happening with me at the moment. It's just the fact that obviously there may be a loss coming. Uh, going on what's, what I've shown you just before, there may be a loss coming uh, of, of, of that breathable area of 30 to 40 pips. If it does, it's, it's wiped out all the hard work I've done today. But again, I know if, it does lo if that does lose... I understand why it's done that. It's been because I've been greedy, okay? It's because I've been greedy, and it just means that from the parameters that we do within the group where you trade the, the New York session or the London session, you look at these currency strength pairs at like just before 8 a.m. and on 9 a.m. and then possibly just before 1, and then just going on after 1 o'clock in the afternoon. This is where you primarily need to be setting the trades, to be fair. You could possibly use it on the Asian session as well, because late last night, Andy was having fantastic results. Yeah. 
he'd uh, he got around, I think it was 232 pips of profit on the Asian session uh, last night. The, the, she's back in. So, yeah, it's uh, again, it's just a, it's a, like I say, I use this word, I use this saying this morning. It's a process of elimination, okay? Uh, what you're going to get with me, guys, is, is the fact that I don't hide behind numbers. There's a lot of these groups out there. There's a lot of these groups out there that'll just show you uh, charts. It hits to the pip. It hit to this entry. It hit to that entry. Bullshit. I, I don't do none of that. I speak from the heart. I, I tell it how it is, okay? Uh, I, I'll not just show you a chart with... It's a pip entry and it went all the way to here. Bull, bull crap. I, I don't do that. If I feel, you're going to see it. If I win, you're going to see it. If I'm on a low or if my emotions is getting in the way and I'm feeling down, I'm going to post about it. Because this is a journey uh, or, or of a process, process of elimination. And if, if, if you can relate to the pressures and the all the other stuff that comes with trading and you see what I'm going through and you're, you're realising that you are going through that sort of process as well but you want to come into a real trading community that's going to help you as well okay and be around the people that are not going to market things to you with regards to if you buy this tool you can do this if you buy that indicator you can do that if you do this you can get in on that if you buy this one it, it, it'll get you X amount Cut all that shite out. Just basically cut all the bullshit out. Uh, and like I say, I'll show you the real struggle on a day-to-day -day basis with what I go through. And in a way, even though I'm doing this on demo at the moment and forward testing things, at least you're seeing the sort of struggle and the things that I'm going through this morning or this afternoon, I should say, heading into this afternoon, where I bagged a good amount of profit. But again... I got the greed factor, the greed got the better of me, and I'm in a trade at the moment. Gonna have this coffee, take it upstairs, I'm gonna see if I'm still in it. So, on the next part of the video, we're gonna be going onto the video, uh, onto the screen, and you're gonna see whether it's still alive, or whether it's knocked us out. And then it's, if it has hit us out, it's knocked the profits off what a dear, but I'm not worried, simply because <clears throat> I know what the risk parameters were, and it just means it's et into my profits for the deal that I've done today, okay? Knowing that, we've still got the New York session to go. So on the next part of the segment of the video, you're going to see whether we're still in the trade or whether we're being knocked out. So I'll see you in a minute. So guys, uh, we've made the coffee. You wanted to know, has my structure held? Or have we been struck out uh, by uh, not so much the bad luck, but by the greed factor, okay? Let's take a look, scroll along. We are still holding structure, albeit we are, uh, or have we, yeah, we're still holding structure. That's the trade area there, that, that's in there. And hopefully we're gonna get another push. Uh, once we once we go into a little bit of profit, I might close that out, to be fair. I might close that out once it goes into a pip or two of profit, just so it holds our structure point and it holds where we are okay because what we're, we're sort of veering from the path of what this experiment is which is trading the london session new york session uh there's no we shouldn't be trading in between at the moment the forward test is for those areas and we'll, we'll take it from there so i'll see you on the next update which will not be long far away right guys so now i've finished doing the content for today's video uh that's part of what I've been doing. Uh, we can see the trade had gone, gone into profit, and it's closed out. We have ended the day in £105.61 of profit. Uh, overall, I think we've doubled the profit account size from yesterday, which is fantastic. I'm not going to go into any trades on the New York session, because I do tend to have a look for some fire trades for the group as well okay so i need to get on to doing some of that uh from there i am converting to the session that i've done live uh and on top of that i'm in the middle of doing what i'm doing here which is i'm showing you the day-to-day -day stuff that i do just by doing quick snippets and then uploading them to imovie and that's this is the last video to that which is what you're watching now my day-to-day -day, what i do 
and I hope you've enjoyed going through this. It's going to be around about 30 minutes or so that this video has gone on to. But again, keep an eye out on my wall for today's live session that I've done, going through the process of trading the currency strength with the ADX and being able to use uh, the trade management system that we've got. Okay, guys? So I'll see you all later.